right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor. Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proven ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts. A guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155 pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now it is his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a grappler holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan. Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? All right, so the rematch is upon us. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. Got to think both sides might change some things up here in advance of the second minute. You have to make adjustments if you're going to be successful in a rematch. No two fights are the same. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John knows that there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm 
to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch it. Nicely done. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most by Oh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Muay Thai plumb. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice right hand counter. Five what? minutes in the books. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, champs, second round now. Your teammate, Khabib you, Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Look at him working at trying to set the liver down. Nermago Medov strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. And striking with 65% accuracy against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Outstanding kick there by Conor. And that one certainly found the target. And they separate. Another shot here. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Big leg kick lands. Right hand upstairs. Single collar tie now. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. McGregor's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of sweat. Oh, wow! Head kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice combination there by Connor. Pretty good job to find the striking range there, DC. Connor is one of the best strikers in the UFC, and it's all because of the way that he manages space. He's a master manipulator in terms of managing the distance. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Medov's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Final seconds here. And that's the end of round number two. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. It's a great round, great round. Your round all the way. I need more of the same. I want you to get out there, secure that takedown. Put this guy. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? All Let's right, go, five buddy. minutes to decide this one. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Elbow lands for him. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Close guard. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know, know when, when to hold him. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by McGregor. Getting late in the fight. It has been all action to this point as we go down the wire. Could be anybody's fight. Anybody's fight. Both of these guys prepared very well for this competition, and it showed in such a tremendous fight. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Look at how he drives the team. Right into his opponent's midsection. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. I need you to scramble, scramble. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Medov's trying for a Kimura here. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed 
that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest for 928. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Khabib the Eagle, Fernando Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control.